Everybody, this is Bonnie and today I am going to show you how I made this card. Um, I saw this card on Stampin' Connection and her name is Brenda Quilt Quilton. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name exactly right, but I'll post it at the bottom of the blog. I don't know really how she did it. I just looked at the picture and I fell in love with the card that I wanted to share it with you. Like that. And then we're going to take some bashful blue. On there. Then we are going to take one of Stampin' Up's new in colors. It's called Gumble Gumball Gum Ball Green. Woo! Say that ten times fast. Anyways, um, this new pad. I love the new pads for stamping. So... I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on there and then because these are really really um, wet fresh pads I'm going to brush it a little bit off then I'm just going to keep swirling it put a little bit more brush a little bit off going to start working on the building the actual um, items for the card. The first thing I did was I took a piece of, but this is called Pacific Point, and I just put it in here, ran it through the embossing folder, and then I cut around it. And so this is how I got my base for my little bird feeder. Then I took a window sheet and a piece of So Sapphire um, cardstock, and I ended up cutting them both at one and a half inches. Now it's hard to see what I did with the w window sheet, so I'm going to show you with the So Sapphire, which I also did. So you're going to stick it in the, the side, like this, of the punch. You're going to grab it from here and pull it up. You don't need a whole lot, so probably that much would be fine if you could see right there and then you're just going to punch down and punch that out and it's going to give you that rounded bottom that I have and you want to repeat the same thing with the window sheet and then what I did for the top of here to get the little wave I just took my scissors and I just freehanded some waves on it so it kind of looks like that. Now for how I embellished this, the things I used, I used the cupcake punch. I used these three little holes right over there. They're the sprinkles for the cupcake punch. I took some scrap Cajun cream, punched out the three little dots, and I just punched out a ton of them until I thought I had enough. And then to get the little sunflower seeds, I went and I took the black paper and I took the bird punch and I just took the leaf and I stuck it inside. All I want is the leaf. And then I had this. Now before I snip them down, I took a white gel pen and I just kind of drew the lines in them. It was easier to draw the lines in them like this than it is to cut them all and then draw the lines in them. And then all I did from there was I just snipped them off the vine like that. And then I was just able to use them wherever on my card. That part is a little bit of time consuming. That's the whole time consuming of the card. So I have time. I've already gone and had and have for already pre-done one. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to stick this right up onto here, onto this piece of uh, the base of the bird feeder. If I can talk today, we'll be doing good. So, stick it right down there. Kind of like that. I think that's good. 
then I'm going to take my window sheet and I'm just going to place it right over top of it. It's just a temporary hold. If you have some, I press down a little bit because some of that glue that's clear in there is still a little tacky and it helps hold it there, which is good. Then I've got, I took and punched out a, um, a word window punch. There we go. So then I got the bottom on. Now for this cute little part here. This I punched out of the two and three eighths um, scalp circle punch. And what I did was I counted seven. So just pick a spot. So I'm going to pick one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven. And now I want to come up to a point right about here. So this halfway. So take a little pencil and just mark like right about there, halfway. And then you want to mark over here. And then I'm just eyeballing. I'm not like being exactly perfect on it. Do I have seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay. And then you are just going to cut up to that point. And then from that point, you're going to cut down. So it looks like that. So then what you have to do with it, have to get out your score pail here. And I don't know if I've told you this before, but for projects like this, I went and I took a black um, Sharpie and I have it down the middle of my score pail. Now, I don't know if I've, um, I do it right in the six inch and I mark it right down. I don't know if you've ever seen it in my videos before or if I've told you before, but that I have it there because I'm going to use this six inch for this project. I'm going to put my marker or my point right here on the six inch and then I'm going to put this space right here on the six inch, the first scalp. And then I'm going to run, I could do it well, moving everything, and I'm going to go from here up to that point like that. Then I'm just going to move it and up to that point. Normally I'm working way down at the bottom. <laughs> it's a little farther away from me. <laughs> okay. And there you have your little scalps for the top of that. So we're done. So now we're going to take, we're going to take our pier and we are going to pierce right in the top here a little hole. Then you want to take some brads. I'm taking, I'm taking these glitter brads and um, I'm opening them up in the back. Twist it so you don't see the prongs like that. And I just put one on the top. Okay. So now we got to get our card back out over here. And we're going to apply some adhesive to the back of the card. So we're just going to put some on this blue part, not on the clear window sheet, and on the stem. And then we're going to put this right about here, like so. And then I'm just going to snip off the end of that. So it looks like that now. Now we're going to add the little top. I'm going to take some pop dots. I'm going to put one over top of the brads at the top. And then I'm going to put two other ones down on here. Peel these off. And then I'm going to stick this right over the top, kind of soldering it. Oops, I forgot to do one other thing. See? And I I wanted to add a little bit of adhesive, and I picked up my window sheet. I want to add a little bit of adhesive above this. Maybe I can get these off. Oh. Okay. 
put this back down here and stick it down and um, put a little bit of adhesive right there like that then you're gonna go and add that down that just gives it security because the only thing we had holding it before remember was the glue so there so there's our look how I did the bird for the bird I'm taking language of friendship um, stamp set and I'm going to stamp this and stays on ink and I'm going to stamp it right down here in this corner like this so it looks like that then you're going to take the bird punch and this lines right up whoops this lines right up with the um, with the stamp set which is really cool Put that off to the side well I still need one more wing so we'll bring this back over and we're going to stamp just the wing okay and then we're going to put that one back in also and we're going to punch out the wing again so it looks like that and then we're going to take and we're going to add some Tombow glue to the bottom half of this wing. And I'm just going to apply it right there, like so. And then I'm going to take a Stampin'. No, I didn't do it. I put dimensionals on the whole thing. There am I? Put this right here. A little bit of glue and put the wing right there. Now we're gonna stamp the little feet to the bird because this that comes also with um, some feet. So I'm stamping them and stays on ink and then I'm lining them up and I'm just putting it like he's just ready to land on there. <laughs> then I'm gonna take some more Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to put them on the back of the bird. Put two. And then I'm just going to line this up. It's kind of like it's getting ready to lay in there. And I took a little gem and my piercer. And I'm going to add it on the eye. So it looks like that. And you could put any saying on this, but I'm going to put happy birthday. This birthday set is a new one. It is going in the new catalog, and it's called Memorable, Memorable Moments. And um, I'm going to stamp happy birthday. I tried... I tried to stamp it together. I have to pull this back and it didn't really get close enough on my other one so I did them individually on this one and I like it a little bit better. So that is it. That is all I did to this card. So I hope that you'll give it a try.